Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Nautilus Spearfishing. My name's Andrew. We're going to talk about another spear gun today. This is my third one today. I'm wearing the same shirt. Sorry. I was planning on changing it to a different shirt, but I decided not to. Anyway, uh, this is the Pathos Sniper. Not Roller. The regular Sniper. Uh, it's a really cool gun, though, so let's come in and check it out. Uh, basically, everything from the handle up until the muzzle is the same as the Sniper roller minus the, uh, the the belly here. So you got your D'Angelo 2 handle that goes flattened out into the uh, sniper barrel. The sniper barrel is not tubular. It has a little bit of a uh, cuttlefish uh, shape to it. Here's the reel uh, uh, where you mount your reel. And this down here gives it a little bit extra weight and ballasting and helps it cut through the water a little bit nicer like some higher end guns that you're going to see like some of the C4s, Blue Tags, the Mythicons and stuff like that. So then you got your enclosed uh, track all the way up here to the front on the anodized aluminum barrel. You'll notice it opens up the same way as the roller and boom, this is the big difference compared to the other one. This is the really nice addition, uh, which is an open muzzle design. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, remember guys, this is an enclosed track gun, so you do not need to wrap your shooting line over this shaft. The line would just run into this groove right here and then uh, go through all your different wrap, wrapping points on your uh, line anchor. If you have a reel, the reel line would run out through here, of course. Uh, this muzzle is really cool because it actually lifts the bands uh, up high, kind of like uh, some other uh, muzzles on the market do. What this does is the more level the bands are with the shaft, the more accurate your shot's going to be. Uh, and also, I mean, this thing's enclosed track, so you combine that with an enclosed track, and this gun is extraordinarily accurate. Very accurate gun. Um, very cool design, very nice. This is the uh, 95 centimeter version. Uh, if you guys are looking for a gun that's priced, uh, you know, anywhere around, uh, between the three to four hundred dollar range, with a lot of features and materials that you're gonna get in a uh, much more expensive gun, this is definitely a really really cool gun. Uh, open track, uh, sorry, open muzzle with the uh, with the lift points for the bands and closed track cuttlefish shaping, stainless steel mechanism. Uh, a Sandvik steel shaft, and remember this uh, that this ha this handle does have an inverted mechanism, so you get a little bit more band stretch out of your gun. George, you're a little far. I want you to come in a little bit. Close enough. Ah. All right. I'll see you guys later. We got George on the camera today. Uh, until next time, George, flip it. Say bye. No, I can't. I can't flip it. <laughs> later, guys. Thank you for coming by.